Hey guys, this is Anna Bloom and today I'll be bringing my first review video. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing as in my March wrap up video because I'm filming it at the same day. My friend suggested I should like wear different clothes if I wanted to film even if it was the same day. But it just felt too fake and too made up so I just... I'm just gonna film like this. I don't care if you know it's on the same day. It is on the same day so I'm not gonna pretend it isn't. When you have the energy and the motivation and the time to film things, you should film them. The book I'm gonna discuss in this video is called Twisted, The Girl Who Found Rumpelstiltskin. So by that you can already tell it's a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. Ah, oh, I don't remember the writer. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Yes, it was written by Bonnie M. Hennessy. I'm gonna be honest and I say I don't like the original tale of Rumpelstiltskin. It just like doesn't make sense, like why would a father sell, give away his daughter to spin gold from wheat and why would then this Rumpelstiltskin help this girl and then claim her first baby unless she finds out what his name is and then he's singing his name in the forest when he thinks no one can hear him and it just doesn't make sense. But then Twisted, this book, is the book that brings this all together and makes it make sense. In this book, the main character, who has a name that I probably can't pronounce, no, I can't pronounce it, so she is this really nice girl and her parents are not that great, her father gambles a lot and goes to the whorehouse and his, her mother just feels like they're, they're richer than they are and she doesn't want to work or do anything unbecoming of a lady, but they are really struggling to make ends meet. And so this girl, she works at their farm, she gets her father out of the whorehouse every morning. She just works with him a lot and in her free time she goes to the forest and relax. And in this forest Rumpelstiltskin first sees her, but she doesn't know this. Then one day this prince, prince, baron, baron it is, the son of the baron comes home because her, his father died and he sees this girl picking up her father from the whorehouse and he's just like if she can love someone like that if she can still love her father and put herself through everything for a man as that she might actually like me too and he becomes interested in this girl ends up forcing her to marry him like the, he bets with the father they gamble the father loses and the father is like, my daughter can make gold out of anything and what I found really interesting like in the original story this father is just bragging about this mythical powers his daughter has and she doesn't have them. But here this father means that this girl can is really business savvy and she can create opportunities to make money out of anything. And this girl does that for the Baron but he's like no no you are supposed to make gold so make me gold. And then here this Rumpelstiltskin helps the girl and they talk and the girl starts liking Rumpelstiltskin and Rumpelstiltskin is like come live with me and you don't have to worry about anything anymore if you do but then her family would probably starve so she's like no I'm not gonna do that and then Rumpelstiltskin is okay then to pay for my help you have to marry the Baron and give me his most precious possession and this is a lot of intrigue and why the motivations and I really enjoyed it in this book None of the characters is like really likable, they all have their flaws, they're really annoying parts about them but they also have these good qualities that give them like they're nice well-rounded characters and I'm not gonna give too many spoilers but you really learn why Rumpelstiltskin wants to know his name, why, what he has against the Baron and the Baron why you find out like the Baron really doesn't like himself that much and you find out why and why he thinks that this girl is good for him. So I really enjoyed how this story explained like the original fairy tale of Rumpelstiltskin as I knew it. And suddenly everything makes sense and it's well written and well done and I really enjoyed it a lot. So if you feel like reading a fairy tale retelling and you're interested in Rumpelstiltskin, I'd I'd suggest you check it out because it was really great. I ended up rating it 4 stars out of 5 on Goodreads, I think. But it's a story that still 
like stuck with me. I read it in like January and I still sometimes think about how good it was. So yeah, although I didn't like feel this, oh my god I love it so much when I was reading it. That's, it's a story that really stuck to me and still really means a lot to me. Like I would want to read it again. So yeah, that was my first review. I'm probably gonna watch this a few times to see all the things I should improve up for my next review. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching and see you next time.